All right, guys, this is the final part to the 1995 F350 Power Stroke 7.3 Turbo Diesel heated rear tank assembly, along with the heater core line TN with the pressure washer hose going all the way back, running down the frame rail to the heated tank in the previous video. I figured I'd show up or show the setup as to how we TN. We got, I believe it's 3 8 galvanized, just 3 inch pipe, I guess. <laughs> that uh, you slip onto the heater core lines when you, first you gotta get the T on I guess, to the valves you have a pressure washer hose with the 3 8 fitting that goes to a 3 8 valve. I use the ball valve, people can use the gate valves but I prefer the ball valve. You go to 2 inch 3 8 threaded both sides, go to a 3 8 T which goes threaded to 3 inch 3 8 3 inch 3 8 over here which slides on the each side of the heater core lines. And that goes with both pressure washer lines for going back and for return. Now I ran this below my AC condenser over around here. I don't know where you can see it. I lost it. Oh, it's underneath here. So it goes around here, goes up all the way by the windshield wipers. It goes all the way around by the steering column. But you want to make sure you stay away from steering column stuff. So I went around this thing, I honestly don't know the name of that. Then it runs straight down there, down to the frame, and back to the tank. I don't feel like crawling under there because it's wet and I have good clothes on. But yeah, that's the assembly. That's the final component to the heated tank for running vegetable oil in cold weather.